Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming to see me. My name is Guy Kladjman, and I am Chief Revenue Officer for Cody, which stands for Currency of the Internet. We are a fintech startup using next generation blockchain technology for payment networks and stable coins. So who we are, uh, we're a full-time uh, team of th over 30 uh, employees uh, based out of Tel Aviv. Uh, the employees include serial entrepreneurs, blockchain engineers, researchers, and veterans from fintech and banking industries. Shachaf, our CEO, uh, founded three companies and sold two of them. Dr. Nir Halouani, who's leading our R&D, our CTO, is what we call a master inventor. He has over 12 patents, he has 14. Uh, one of them for JPEG compression, which he sold to IBM, later to lead uh, their uh, R&D before joining us. Dudu Asraf, uh, previous from uh, HSBC, and uh, myself. Our advisory board is no less impressive. Uh, we have the previous CIO and managing director of BlackRock on our team, uh, the previous CIO, uh, CEO of Investec UK, uh, both uh, the previous CIO of Investec UK and BlackRock, it's, it's it's their only investments. Uh, Luna Capital from San Francisco, uh, which half of their investments are based on DAG technology, which is what we based our technology on, uh, invested in us. Rhodium VC from Israel, uh, Processing.com, which apart from the capital, provide us access to 10,000 merchants under their umbrella. Uh, Greg Kidd, the previous CRO of Ripple, one of the first investors in Coinbase, and in Twitter uh, was one of our early investors, and Imrod Lahavi, uh, the founder and CEO of Simplex, which is also here in uh, NOAA. So uh, the problem that we uh, went out to solve is uh, traditional payment systems, which as you can see from the diagram over here, it's full of mediaries and intermediates, which take an uh, unnecessary fee and also act as a potential uh, point of failure. That's really the, the, the crucial point. I can tell you from my previous experience in a startup for education, which is the cleanest industry, 20% of our global users who had a bank account and who had a credit card failed to transact because someone along the way decided that it may be risky. So uh, we went to blockchain in order to create a decentralized payment solution in order to take out the numerous intermediaries uh, that you saw in the previous slide and to make it much more streamlined, uh, cost efficient, uh, and in terms of uh, settlement time, etc. Then we enc encountered another issue. The other issue is that when we looked at the existing infrastructures on blockchain, uh, unfortunately, none of the infrastructures out there were suitable for payments. So if you look at uh, Bitcoin, it's great for store of value, but terrible in terms of payments, in terms of pr uh, processing uh, cost, in terms of scalability, in terms of speed. The same goes for EOS or Ethereum, which are great for building applications, but once again, not for payments. So we were forced in, uh, to create the first infrastructure, which is focused around payments and stable coins, which we call Trust Chain. In order to, to show the benefits of the infrastructure, which we built over the past two years, uh, apart from the interest infrastructure, we created a service layer on top, which includes KYC and AML support, uh, which includes an internal exchange which acts as an onboarding and offboarding platform for those who don't have crypto, uh, in, in, in addition to stability uh, features for merchants to deal with price volatility, another issue of crypto, and the first decentralized buyer-seller protection, which is crucial if, if you want to deal with e-commerce. On top of that, we built an application layer which includes a digital wallet, a debit card, point of sale support, and all of this that you see over here, uh, we offer to our partners as a white label solution. So it means that it can be uh, branded however the partner sees fit while enjoying all the benefits that I mentioned earlier. The market opportunity is huge, as you're probably all familiar with. It's a trillion dollar market waiting for disruption and it's only uh, predicted to grow. If you look at, at our direct uh, competitors, uh, our direct competitors such as Ripple are evaluated by billions and billions of dollars. So it's a huge market with tons of potential. The revolution actually already began. Uh, if you all uh, read uh, eBay recently abandoned PayPal uh, for a smaller European competitor, which is also here, I believe, in NOAA, and, and Kruger threatens to ban credit cards as well. The reason for these changes are, are for two main reasons. One, to reduce costs, 
and, and two, to gain additional control. This is two of the main features that we offer today. So, so actually this opens a, a bunch of opportunities and uh, a bunch of use cases for anyone transacting today. If it's decentralized uh, payment applications which can focus on the application and not on the infrastructure. If it's merchants can, which can enjoy uh, very low fees, very low settlement time, uh, a low rolling reserve which uh, improves their cash flow, bottom line, improves conversion, etc. In addition to that, stable coins, which is a very hot topic right now in the crypto field, uh, there's two characteristics to a stable coin. One, the stability feature, and the second, the transactability of the coin. So we focus on the transactability of the coin, while the stable coin uh, providers can focus on the stability uh, characteristics of their coin. The additional use cases that our technology brings is uh, we currently support uh, nano payments and micro payments, which is unheard of in other uh, use cases. In terms of um, in terms of our uh, roadmap, we launched we launched our uh, better version last uh, month. I'm gonna our have to stop you there only to only because of time to make it fair and square for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, hands together for Coty. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well done.